Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks. In this replay we have Robocop, I guess, <laughs> um, in the best tier 9 premium tank in the game. It is the Object 752, uh, the new tier 9, new-ish, right, kind of a uh, half a year, maybe even 7 months ago. Um, Russian heavy tank, auto-loading heavy tank, the Object 752 that was only sold in the loot boxes so far, the holiday ops loot boxes um, that's Christmas or like the, the most recent Christmas right so Robocop unfortunately we can't really see uh, the loadout on this vehicle but this is exactly what you want to do with this vehicle raise the gun hide the cupolas make your turret strong um, I personally love to go with hardening with first stamps and with vents on this vehicle I have really nice battles with this one and if you can angle the vehicle uh, correctly, you can bounce so many shells. Like this vehicle doesn't love it when you go frontally, right? It loves it when you go kind of with the side of the vehicle a bit. Sure, you can get pinned at the front. There is a weak spot over here. Um, on the second bar, between the second and third bars over there, you can get pinned. Also, raise the gun like Robocop is doing here because it does hide the components that you have, which are going to be the major weak spot on the vehicle. So once you do that, You'll just see that you can bounce a lot of shells to go through the component of the iron onion, unfortunately not going through. Second shot though, easy peasy finishing off the iron army, but we do have a third shot as well, going down into the rocks this time. Um, so AP rounds, very decent, I guess 240mm of penetration. It's okay for tier 9, APCR 310. Delicious stuff for tier 9, like the, it's, it's more than the IS-7 at tier 10, right? So, you will need to use gold quite a bit with this vehicle if you do go and fight heavies, but overall, I find this vehicle's standard rounds uh, work as well. And when you just do three shots, 390 damage, right? Do that 1170? If the math is mathing, damage in like six and a half seconds. What are the vehicle? does that at tier 9, well, except for maybe the Cobra. Except for maybe the Cobra. Uh, but yeah. 752 just delivers three very chunky 390 alpha damage shots very quickly. So, I mean, co combine that with the lovely armor that this vehicle has if you angle correctly. And this is just such a deadly vehicle. Such a deadly vehicle. And uh, yeah, I guess there is a reason why this vehicle is the best T9 premium tank inside the game. And when I say premium, I mean those vehicles that earn uh, more credits, that earn all of the uh, premium tank stuff, right? It's not as good win rate wise, uh, like the win rate differential wise, as the Concept 1B or the Kampanzer 50T, those two clan wars rewards onslaught. It's kind of like competitive uh, ranked game mode rewards that you can get with bonds if you do progress enough in those specific game modes. Those vehicles are a little a little broken, I would say. Just just a little bit, right? They're a little too strong. Um but if you just take the tier 9 premium vehicles, then the 752 is the best win rate, it's the best in win rate differential. And there we go. And there we go, showing you why putting out this T under oh my goodness, the T-132 should have fallen back instead of going forwards. Maybe they didn't know that the 752 actually has an autoloader, the three-round autoloader. Maybe go through the IS-6's components. Not this time. Go after the Iron Army. Finish off the tier raid. Uh, American medium tank, premium tank. Okay, so 752. Like, it has awful DPM, right? It is an autoloader after all, with like 1700 something, uh, if I'm not mistaken, 1750. If I'm not mistaken, it has pretty bad dispersion with 0.42 base dispersion, so it's not a very accurate vehicle as well. Uh, it doesn't have the best of aim times with 3.45 second aim time. And yeah, I mean, when you just look at the stats, it looks like an awful vehicle, right? It has bad gun handling, it doesn't have good DPM. Uh, 1170, yes, it is a lot of damage for a heavy tank to do, but, oh my goodness, just going through the Curry's face, apparently. <laughs> uh, but, once you do finish those three shots, they can just push you, you're not going to be finishing off any heavy tanks with that clip, right? It's not enough damage to finish off vehicles. 
at even tier 8, even tier 6 vehicles, sometimes it's not enough to finish them off. So, it's kind of like, at first, I thought the 752 was going to be the worst tier 9 premium. Because of all of those reasons, right? The bad DPM, the awful gun handling, it's not fast with 35km an hour top speed, and only 12. Reverse speed, so very, uh, not very mobile as well. Can we finish off this I6B just real quick? One into the I6B, two into the I6B, and one more for good measure. There we go, I6B is done for. Um, but it also doesn't have good fear range with 380 base fear range. It's kind of like the, the, the M40 just shotgun the Cobra, my goodness. <laughs> um, but statistically, right, if you look at the stats, this vehicle is rather underwhelming, I guess. Also, armor-wise, it did seem to be pretty bad at the start if you just didn't angle, right? The low plate will get pinned by most vehicles. You do have those very big capolas that everyone just saw at the start and was like, okay, okay, this vehicle might not be what we want. But then when you raise the gun, you make the capolas disappear, right? They can't reissue really the capolas if you raise the gun. If you angle your vehicle a bit more than usual, if you can, like, like I said, use that side armor, right, that most people will think is easy to go through. It is not. It is not easy to go through that. And you can have amazing games. Like, I had uh, seven, maybe even 8,000 damage battles, I don't remember exactly, with this vehicle, and it, it's just so consistent. If you know how to angle, if you know where to go, unload, fall back, again and again and again, then this vehicle can just do damage consistently. Just, just look at this. Even at long range, can we hit the Leopard? Okay, that actually went exactly to the Leopard and through the 257, so nice. I mean, even at long range, I guess you can do some damage as well. It's not built for long range, though. Don't, I, I don't want to see people sitting at the back with the 752. Bafish told us it is good at sniping. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It is not accurate at long ranges. It can hit, but don't don't trust it to hit, right? Uh, but yeah, this vehicle, just an amazing brawler, and that's basically what you need these days in World of Tanks. As a top tier heavy, if you can just be an amazing brawler, you're already doing so much for the team because those top tier heavies are so important. They're just so important inside the game. Um, in my opinion, the top tier heavy is the most important vehicle because these days they do have the mobility to break through quickly, they have the armor to go into multiple positions, they're just so versatile, right? So if you are a good brawler and you have the 752, you can do a lot of damage. One to the Tiger Mouse over here, two into the Tiger Mouse and shutting down the other tier 9 a heavy tank, premium heavy tank that was released alongside the 752 in the loot boxes. I think maybe over a bit over here might have gave us a a chance at bouncing the Tiger Mouse, but Robocop just went for the kill, now turning around to hopefully catch the Skoda train. There we go, there's the Skoda, putting one to the side of the Skoda T50, luckily. That one went through. Nice, very nice indeed. But now, the best tier 9 heavy tank, premium heavy tank in the game, versus the best tier 8 premium heavy tank in the game, 752 versus BZ176, plus artillery. But yeah, that BZ can easily go through the Capola. Um, if you don't angle your armor, the BZ will go through the low plate as well. Do need to watch out. Can't let the BZ also shoot you in the backside over here. <clears throat> that is not going to be very fun. And if the BZ is indeed full health, I mean, it was outside of the render range, so we have no idea. Uh, but if the BZ is indeed full health, then that can be dangerous. We cannot one clip the bz176 but there's the bz is actually a wanted one 386 hp one into the lower plate low rolling but setting the bz on fire okay okay bz gone and now it's just a 1v1 with the enemy m53 m55 and this is where you know you win right unless the m53 actually sets robocop on fire or causes an amarak or something crazy this is just such a good feeling just go towards the camp try to find the artillery um, if you can't find him, it's actually an encounter battle, my bad. But there's the artillery, spotted over here, one missing. Okay, going for the big reload over here, that F-53 is a very fast vehicle. So, um, because it is encounter, suddenly it became a, a different 
story, apparently. I thought it was a, a random battle, that's my bad. My goodness, need to go forwards. You don't have a lot of time, and counter battle does take quite a while to capture the base, so it's either catch the artillery or just go for the cap. There's the M53. That is a cheeky, sneaky vehicle. Just look at the speed, like, the M53 is not slow at all. Just need two shots over here. There we go, out in the open. You can do it, Robocop. You have to just take your time. There we go. Okay, just set him on fire, I guess, and win the battle with one shell. Who needs all three shells, but you can just fire one. And then salute to just assert dominance, I guess, on the battlefield. With 6,200 damage. Now we've seen maybe some blind shots as well. Uh, 12 kills over here, and just an amazing 752 round, showing you why this vehicle is the best tier 9 premium tank inside the game at the moment. I mean, Wargaming have been releasing quite a few tier 9 premiums lately, so uh, that might change. That might change soon, you never know. You never know, but here, yeah, Robocop, amazing game. GG, well played. Taking the West like you should, raising the gun after firing like you should. I would have loved to see a bit more of the uh, the overangling, right, to bounce some shots with the, with the side armor, but it, it wasn't needed when you just damage them first. So, amazing game. GG, well played. Uh, how amazing was this game? Let's go and check the post-game stats real quick. There we go. Easy ace tank for this 1,911 base experience earned. A bunch of lovely ribbons. Arsonist, you should actually get two of those, right? The BZ and the M53 at the end. I'm um, getting a Colonel Battles Medal for standing alone against at least five. I think it was seven in this case, actually. And Emerging Victorious, the Pass Gucci's Medal for destroying two of the enemy SPGs, the M5355 and the 4043, eight and nine American. Uh, Pools Medal for at least 10 kills, in this case 12, actually. High caliber for the 6,191 damage caused, so no blind shots over here this time. A crucial contribution, because actually Robocop was in a platoon with a CS-59 and a 257. So, I mean, it is awarded for destroying 12 vehicles as a platoon, but... Um, I guess it was a one-man army in this case. Getting 12 kills over here. Um, but the 257... The platoon may did get a kill as well. A top gun for at least 6 kills in this case, 12, so I guess uh, 2 top guns are in order over here. And just an overall amazing battle. First on everything of course, 26 shots fired, 23 hit, 21 penetrated. Even though this vehicle doesn't really have uh, the best gun handling, for some reason it feels kind of reliable. Like, I have no idea how to explain that, I guess it's just like Russian bias or something that everyone is talking about. Um, but I feel like this vehicle hits whenever you shoot, right? It doesn't have those annoying RNG moments, and I guess because it is so consistent, so reliable, um, I just love this vehicle so much. The best tier 9 premium vehicle inside the game. 6,191 damage, 25 from a distance of more than 300 meters, amazing stuff, 25 damage. <laughs> um, but yeah, 6 since received, 1 penetrated, the 1 from the Tiger Mouse and five did not, like everyone else um, who fired at Robocop over here, did not penetrate. Only got some artillery damage, as you can see, it's received as a result of splash damage. 1,600 damage blocked by the armor, one <laughs> vehicle spotted, 12 vehicles damaged, 12 destroyed, so every vehicle that Robocop damaged, they actually destroyed as well, with an extra 1,358 damage caused due to the player's assistance, and distance traveled three. Three kilometers exactly. It was just like up and down the west, right? Just it's south, north, south again. Amazing stuff, though. Lovely stuff. Uh, by Robocop over here. And because it is a premium, right? It is a premium tank at tier 9. You do get a lovely amount of credits, as you can see. Uh, 236,000 credit profit for this battle, even with the resupply of the consumables. Even when the few gold rounds fired after uh, using the regular rounds, right? Earning almost a quarter of a million credits is just lovely. It is just lovely. Um, so yeah, GG well played. 17,775 experience earned over here with 432 free XP. This is just ridiculous. This is just ridiculous stuff over here. 
in this 10 minute 10 second battle. Amazing game by Robocop over here. And I mean, when you see all of those medals and stuff, you know that it was a ridiculous game. Ha, ah, GG, well played, Robocop. Uh, um, yeah, just playing the 752 to almost perfection, right? I did, uh, like I said earlier, I would have liked to see some more angling with the vehicle. But when you bounce even without angling, do you really need to do that? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this is it for this video. So as usual, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of the 752? Do you agree that it is, this is actually uh, the best tier 9 premium tank inside the game? Or do you think someone else, some other vehicle, deserves the crown? Uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comments down below. And as usual, thank you so much everyone for watching. You're awesome. Stay awesome. Stay safe. And hopefully I will see you all in the next video. Tell people have a good one.